Raf here, hope you all are having an amazing day. Well, today I will be showing you how to install RMR ROM on Galaxy Note 3. Well, talking about this ROM, it is a Galaxy S7 Edge ported ROM with the Galaxy Note 7 Grace UX and Tab based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Now, I know I did show a ROM like this in my last video, but the thing is that it worked on N9005 model only. This ROM works on N9005 model, the Spring variant, the T-Mobile variant, the Korean model, and many others. As well, you can check all the supported devices in the description of this video now the best thing about this rom is that it lets you customize it in a variety of ways now say you want to modify your lock screen clock you want to have seconds along with minutes and hours you want to change the look of your status bar well you can do so so much stuff with it so how you can do that get inside of the app drawer and here you can see the rom control application and this is where the magic happens now here you can see you have so many options like UI settings, the notification panel, the phone mods, the framework and general settings. I mean you can do so much customization with this ROM. So if you are into customization game, I would highly recommend you guys to try out this ROM. Now talking about the actual performance of this ROM, well I haven't noticed any lagginess in this ROM. It absolutely runs smooth on it. Now, besides some uh, minor bugs, I would say, uh, like in the camera application, there are some mods which are currently not working and NFC is also not working here. So if you can live without these issues, I mean, you're absolutely gonna love this ROM. And last but not the least, the S Pen features are absolutely working fine with this ROM as well. So yeah, now I would like to show you guys how you can flash it. Alright guys, so for flashing this ROM, you need three files. One is the base of the ROM, the other is the Galaxy Note 7 Grace UX package, and the third is the kernel. Well, I've given the links to all of these files in the description of this video, so you can download them from there. And you need to have a custom recovery installed on your device as well. I would prefer to have TWRP recovery installed on your device, so if you haven't, I'll also link it in the description of this video. So once you're done downloading and saving the required files on your device, this is what you have to do. Click on Vibe, Delve Cache, uh, I'm sorry, Advanced Vibe, and here you have to select Delve Cache, System, Data, and Cache. After that, swipe to wipe them up. And after that, you have to go to the directory where you actually save your required files. So first of all, you have to flash the base of the ROM, which is the Galaxy S7 Final Zip. So swipe to flash it. Alright guys, now we're inside of the ROM installer, now you have to click next, agree the terms of use. Now here you have to select your device model number. Now I'm re actually using the N9005 international variant, so I'm gonna go with it. And here you have to use the CSC, I'm going with BTU. And here are a couple of mods uh, which you might need to select if you're interested in. So after you have chosen uh, your required mods, just click next. After that, uh, we have the camera choice here I'm going with the Galaxy S7 camera stock UI S7 manager and we have the touch base stock I'm gonna go with stock launcher and stock sound mod Samsung emoji and here you have to click on yes I'm gonna make a full wipe even though we did it you still have to click it which will obviously result in less issues all right so after that click next and install your ROM now this is going to take probably five to six minutes so don't panic about this I'll show you what you have to do after this alright guys so once the ROM is installed you have to click next and here you don't have to check the device reboot option because there is one more file that you have to flash and that is the kernel. Now move to the place where you have saved your kernel and flash it. Now guys I know there is one more file left uh, that is the Galaxy Note uh, Grace UX package to be flashed but you don't have to flash it right now because that will result in so many uh, problems. So just uh, boot up your device so once your device is fully booted up then go to the recovery and then flash it so right now we're gonna click home and reboot the system so the first boot usually takes like 15 to 20 minutes so that is gonna take so much time so once the phone boots up i'll show you what you have to do next Alright guys, once your phone is fully booted up, you have to go through the configuration setup but there is one thing that you have to uncheck and that is the diagnostic data. So by doing that, your cellular data and Wi-Fi and stuff like that is gonna work so just keep care of that. 
and the rest of the stuff is pretty much same so just go through the configuration setup and then we will flash the Note 7 Grace UX so guys once you have gone through the configuration setup now it's time to get inside of the custom recovery because we have to flash the Galaxy Note 7 Grace UX now you have to move to the place where you save the Note UX package and just flash it alright now you have to click next agree with the times of use choose the mods which you want to have and then install the Note UX package alright guys here it is it is finally installed now you can click next and you can reboot your device and just click end and there you have it guys the ROM has been successfully flashed along with the Note UX package. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and if you get any queries, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.